I'm doing an experiment. And I thought, if I'm going to do an experiment, I'll videotape it. A question came up amongst some engineers I know, and we were wondering, is there a quick way to check loudness on an Atmos mix kind of offline? And I'm looking for a way to do it without using the Dolby Atmos renderer. So what I've done here is I just rebounced an Atmos mix that I delivered a couple weeks ago, and I've got this loudness test file. I've loaded it into the Dolby Atmos renderer to start with, and I'm going to analyze the loudness so that we understand what is the actual loudness of the ADM. Okay, so loudness of this ADM is NEG 18.2 integrated, and we've got a NEG 3.3 true peak. So what I have done is I did this with the offline bounce, and I also bounced the 5.1 re-render, which I have right here on a track. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to test some different audio suite meters that I have to render on this to see which one gives me the same value as the Atmos renderer. So I'm going to start with Isotope Insight, if I can find it. And let's analyze. Okay, neg 18.2, neg 3.3. This is a good sign for the insight meter to be used for doing this. Next up, let's try decibel from process audio. Let me find that. All right, let's check decibel. All right, neg 18.2 and the true peak, which is set as a max neg one, were within spec on the true peak. So decibel worked. That's cool. All right, next up, got the waves WLM. Let's hit render. So neg 18.2 and true peak neg 3.4. So the true peak reading in this meter is different from our Atmos reading. The integrated, though, is fine. So not sure I would use this one because it's reading different right now. Now I'm going to use the Pro Limiter Loudness Analyzer. If you have a Pro Tools subscription, I believe this comes with it. So let's analyze with this. That was a really fast analyzer. Integrated loudness matches. The true peak matches. This one might be the winner for me because it was the fastest by far out of all of them. So this is True Level from Sonable. Let's see what this does. All right, neg 18.2, neg 3.3 True Peak. So the reading was correct. Uh, a little slower than the Avid one, but this one, this one could be used. I think that is all the meter plugins that I have, um, I know some of you guys might be using the Nugent VizLM one. I have not invested in that yet. Um, I'd love to test it. If you test it yourself, please let me know how that works for this. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go create a SoundFlow macro to use to sort of automate this whole process to see how fast can I actually check a mix? So I created a macro in SoundFlow to do all this offline loudness checking analysis for me. Uh, one thing I messed up when I was doing my test earlier, the Avid loudness analyzer was not as exact as the Dolby one. It was 0.1 dB off on the integrated side. That could be a problem. If you're measuring at neg 18 in that plugin, you might actually be at neg 17.9. And right now, there is no tolerance for going above the integrated limit in any of the specs, which is kind of silly. In broadcast, usually you have a plus or minus 1 dB, but 
in music, they don't have that right now. Hopefully that will change. But in the meantime, I created a macro and I used the Insight 2 plugin. So I'm going to fire it and let's see what happens. There we go. Got my loudness measurement there. It's faster than real time for me on my machine, which is still an Intel Mac. It's going a little slower, but I would imagine if you're on one of the newer Apple Silicon Macs, this is probably going to be pretty fast and definitely faster than real time. And for me, this will be helpful in just checking loudness where I'm at when I'm mixing so that I don't have to play the whole thing down in real time to get a measurement. So there you go. It's up in the SoundFlow store. If you are using SoundFlow, the package is called Offline Dolby Atmos Music Loudness Check. So you can go get it up there for free. I created macros with a few different meters. One of them was Insight 2, but they're macros and should be fairly easy to modify if you've got a different meter you want to use for that. So if you find that helpful, please let me know if you're running into issues and it's not working. Please let me know. But thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.